This is my home base for training. It's another day of preparation for Rachel Griffin. I put my sandals up here underneath Tower 26, so they're nice and snug before I head into the ocean. She swims here in Santa Monica almost daily, all in preparation for one thing. I'm hoping to become the elite group that has swum the Triple Crown in swimming, which is the three hardest swims in the world. Griffin already has two of the three under her belt. Here's video captured of her doing just that. From Catalina Island to Palos Verdes, around New York City, which is known as the 20 Bridges. And now all she has left to do is swim across the English Channel, which she's hoping to do come late August. This is my logo for my charity, which is Channeling a Cure. And you can see this is me, my little mermaid. I'm swimming from, from London to France. That's the goal. It's a feat only a select few have achieved. Yeah, 331 at the end of 2023, so. Are you trying to be 332? I mean, how great would that be, right? That'd be amazing. I am doing it to raise money and awareness for pancreatic cancer. My mom, Patricia A. Griffin, passed away from that nearly 16 years ago. Over the years, Griffin has trained in the ocean and swam thousands of laps inside the pool. It's training that's helped her raise nearly $100,000 over the last decade for the same cause. And so now, obviously, this year I want to double it because my goal is 100 grand just for the English Channel alone. This is where all the magic happens. <laughs> and here is my swim caps. You have your shampoo and conditioners, goggles. This has got everything. So I am ready to go. This is my beach robe. It is the best thing on the planet. I leave it at the tower so everybody knows it's me when I'm in the water. Now it's time to get into the water and train. You ready to go? Let's go swimming. Kind of melt into the water. I just feel at home in the water. So I am channeling a cure with three amazing charities. The first one is Memorial Sloan Kettering out of New York City. This hospital took care of my mom when she was sick. The other two charities are based right here in SoCal. One is called the Hirschberg Foundation, based in UCLA. And then the other one is the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network. And pretty soon, Griffin will embark on one of her biggest adventures yet. They are not allowed to pull me out unless I am a floating corpse. So it's to France or die trying. In Santa Monica. Lustelia Caballero, KCAL News.